Hey everyone, welcome back to the Omni Studio series. Uh, in today's session, we are going to learn about the elements uh, of the flex card. We will cover block and state element. We will take a reference from the our old video that we created a flex card and where we showed the uh, money heist character and we covered the field text and image icon elements. Okay. So we will utilize the same flex card and uh, we will clone it. Okay, now we have our new created flex card. So let's start with the first element, which is block. Okay. So block, you can consider as a, like a container here, right? Uh, so as you can see, this state is a container, right? And then we have added a few elements here, like text, ID and image, right? Uh, but this block is a container you can create or you can add multiple blocks here as well okay you can clone them and so for example you can move items here right so basically once whenever you are moving here right so if you see this so what we have here is that uh, a block and then if you go to this style then you will see that okay this is taking a uh, one column out of 12 right and then this is taking three column out of 12 okay so on so block provides a kind of container which can group your elements right and you can clone them very easily as well okay and so one more thing that uh, block provides here like if you go to the properties right so let me stretch it out again and uh, if you see we have this option called collapsible right so if you check it uh, this will start showing up here right also you can label this uh, as a hard code string and also you can make it dynamic through the uh, variables okay so you can see this right and there is another property where you can make this collapse by default okay so let's do this and let's preview it once Okay, you can see that uh, we have uh, blocks created. Okay, and as you click on it, uh, the contents will start coming up, right? Uh, so again, like uh, simple functionality, but out of box, uh, no need to code anything, right? Let's start with the uh, another element, which is state. Okay, so you can see this, right? When you create a flex card, you get one state by default created for you right and it is named as a active okay so states uh, basically show that multiple state of particular uh, lightning component or i would call it like flex card component right so by default we have this state and uh, if you clone it right uh, and i will mark it as a like a inactive state okay and then i will check this up checkbox so what does that mean is that if this checkbox is checked okay and so whenever you have the data by default this state will come and whatever uh, data we have here it will print out right but if we don't have the data if query is not returning at any data then this uh, will come up okay so what we are going to do is like we will delete it and then we will add a text message here Okay. no records found okay so let's go back and let's preview it okay now you can see that uh, we we are only seeing one state right now right we don't see that message because we have the data okay so what i am going to do is i will add some garbage here so this data raptor won't return any data and so we are expecting that uh, uh, that this state should come which is inactive state okay so you can say that no records found is coming here okay so let's go back and let's remove the garbage that we have added okay and what happens if you keep both state like active right uh, so this is uh, when I say active, it's more over for uh, states for the active uh, mode, right? So uh, this is not for just for the blank card state. Okay, so this is active. This is active and 
if we do this like what happens right so this will still show you the first even first state where you can see the list of data you can see that right we we, we are not getting the second state even though that is there and we haven't checked the checkbox rack right? okay so whatever is written or created on the like top level comes first okay so for example if i move this state here and even though this is active and this is also active okay now you can see this this no records found is coming again and again this is coming again because we have the data and uh, and you know that like when we have the data it iterates right so like what are, what are the major uh, difference that you see here for between the block and state right so uh, you are doing pretty much uh, same thing kind of right so block is written in a state and if data is an array then the block get iterated but if we see that states don't get iterated okay so that is the major difference between a state and block okay and also obviously like a state works automatically out of box you don't have to specify this thing right uh, checking this checkbox means uh, this state should come when we don't have the data okay so you can also see that when you check this checkbox you can identify by looking on the state this is a bit grayed out here okay so that's it um, on the block and states see you in the next session thank you